But who would have thought it'd be possible to find a song lasting longer than two minutes? Hello, I'm Donnie Bell. Welcome to Math Drumming. Mouth Breather, the math core band from Boston, is back to promote their first full-length album titled I'm Sorry Mr. Salesman with the track Wasted Science. Although appearing as the sixth track on the upcoming album, Wasted Science was actually written four years prior to its February 19th, 21 release, while vocalist Anthony Santagati was still in the band. However, the song was reimagined for I'm Sorry Mr. Salesman once Brett Cates took over as the group's new vocalist. This reimagining is also considered by the group as an alternate version of Wasted Life, the first track on the new album, since they both share the same lyrics and main guitar riff. Think of it as two movements of the same musical work implementing a lyrical callback. Wasted Science opens up at 165 beats per minute with a heavily syncopated 4-4. Based on the phrasing though, it could also be interpreted as a mixed meter. At the 108 mark, a series of downward tempo changes occur during a revisit of the Don't Bring Me Back section, beginning from 165 beats per minute down to 116, down to 96 beats per minute at the 124 mark, and from there, down to 88 at the 135. At the 106 mark, Nick Cates' sextuplet linear drum fill in 7-4 kicks off this series of downward tempo changes. At the 124 mark, Nick executes a similar linear fill, only this time subdividing the beat by 30 second notes. It's pretty clever, because with the tempo set at 116 beats per minute, it results in the listener experiencing this drum fill at a speed nearly indistinguishable from the one prior. So what's most impressive about this series of downward tempo changes is that throughout each reiteration of this entire Don't Bring Me Back section, there's no fluctuation in tempo. So it leads the listener to wonder if it was either performed along to a click track or if each section was performed individually and punched between the drum fills. So here's what I mean by this. Because the tempo gets slower after every drum fill, maybe Nick on drums recorded the first section along to a metronome set to 165 beats per minute. And after finishing the drum fill at the 108 mark, would press pause on the recording reduce the metronome to 116 beats per minute, play the drum fill again, and continue on. Then, repeat this process at the 124 and 135 marks, later going back and staggering the spaces with quick crossfades in between the last hits of the drum fills during post-production. It's at least an interesting concept, so I'd love to hear what you all think. How was Mouth Breather able to perform the tempo changes in Wasted Science? Do you think A, they performed along to a click track in a single take, B, they recorded each section individually along to a metronome and punched in between the drum fills, C, everyone in the group has perfect tempo and was able to perform live without a click track or a metronome, or D, who cares, it sounds good. I think the answer is D. A, B, C, or D. Leave your answer in the comment section down below. If you said A, performed along to a click track without stopping, then you're correct. That's what I said. Mouth Breather writes all of their material organically in guitarist Ryan David's living room. Although not always to an exact science, they approximate the tempos they feel are right using the theories they know will work rhythmically and then apply them to a field test. They then translate these approximated tempos into beats per minute for their click tracks. This explains why there's no fluctuation in the midst of each tempo, while at the same time also accounting for why at the 145 mark, it's 168 beats per minute instead of 165 as it is in the beginning, or why at the 108 mark, it's 116 beats per minute instead of 110 as it is in the last 40 seconds of the track. Perhaps Mouth Breather isn't exactly crunching the numbers to ensure that everything checks out mathematically 100% of the time. However, before arriving to the final section of the track, 
the group does at the 207 mark use a retardando to transition into their final tempo of 110 beats per minute, which results in a quarter note one and a half times slower than that of the original at 165. Nick brings back the 30 second note linear drum fill to signal a final repeat of the I won't be the same section before concluding with an overpowering sustain of feedback. Although the group considers Wasted Science a slight departure from their previous work, fans of Mouth Breather's previous EPs will enjoy this newest entry as well. <laughs> yeah, if they can manage listening to something longer than two minutes. You can find Wasted Science on the group's first LP titled I'm Sorry Mr. Salesman out May 7. You can also click here to watch the official music video in its entirety. Before you head over, if you're enjoying the groove libraries, the collaborations, the drum covers, the reviews and music theory analyses here on Math Drumming, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and enable notifications so you can make it to the premiere of our next video. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, keep counting and don't stop drumming.